Where on Earth is information about New Worlds expansion. This expansion could be coming out in less than 40 days and we know next to nothing about it. There's no real marketing, there's no real hype. What on earth is going on? We're going to jump into that in a minute, but first I could do with your help. Basically, I quit my job to go full time on YouTube and on Twitch. Now, this isn't life or death. If I fail in this adventure, then what will happen is I will have to get a full time job. However, I'm hoping that I could use your help to help me sustain this going forward. And I'll very briefly go through the ways you can help. If you're not in a financial position where you can support me, then one of the things you can do is to just do what you're doing now. Watch the videos, like the videos, comments on the videos. Another free option is to come over to Twitch and simply watch me there, give me a follow. Or if you've got Amazon Prime, maybe hit me with one of those Prime subs. If you want to go the extra mile, you can of course subscribe there as well. But if you're interested mostly in YouTube, then actually it would be better that you support me here on Patreon. Now I've just launched this because we did have YouTube members before. There's four tiers if you do want to help out there. It's worth noting that in the short term, I'm going to keep the YouTube members around, but I'm actually replacing that with Patreon. There's a long story there, which I won't bore you with. Let's talk about the video. In theory, we are 37 days and 15 hours away from this expansion. That would put the expansion approximately at the start of October. Now there's a little bit of an assumption there. I am assuming that season three and the expansion are tied together. On the roadmap, it is listed as fall and they're listed as two separate categories, season three and the expansion. However, in one of the Discord questions, they actually answered, they said that the perk balance updates would come at the same time as the gear score increase. And as you can see, they're on two different like sections. So I'm guessing they're coming at the same time. When you listen to the devs talk about it, they seem to use season three and the expansion almost interchangeably. And apart from that roadmap, we haven't really heard anything. A lot of the dev communication has been like, hey, we're not really ready to talk about the expansion yet. We just had the video about Warden Bane removal, which gives us a little bit of an insight, but honestly, not very much. We also had that image in the transmog where they had a little bit of an XP bar, so we're maybe going beyond level 60, but that's all speculative. Everything's speculative, really, because details are thin on the ground. Now, why is that? There's a couple of options. One is the expansion is delayed. Two is they're doing something different because it's an expansion. Three is, I don't know, there's possibly a third out there that I don't realize. There is no pattern and this was all part of the plan. However, if that is the case, if this is all part of the plan and we are getting an expansion in 37 days, I would have to raise some serious questions to AGS, the marketing team, and anybody who's going along with that. Now, those of you who were watching my Twitch stream, which if I'm honest, is completely wild. I'm uh, honestly a bit of a madman at times. We sort of found a pattern which pretty much implied that there was news expected in the week just gone. It's at least imminent. I'll quickly show you the pattern, even though it doesn't really make that much difference. But basically, in December, they did a normal Forged in a Turnum on a Monday. Then they did a dev update, which you can see is not a Forged in a Turnum video. It's not. It goes from two to three and there's ones in the middle. That one was actually on a Thursday. And then on Monday, they do the Forged in a Turnum community Q&A. Now, this community Q&A is going to be very important because this Monday in two days time, we are apparently getting a community Q&A about the expansion. In the last Q&A, Scott said that the next communication was pretty much going to be about the expansion and we take that to mean the Q&A. And the Q&A is going to be this Monday, 28th of August. Anyway, onwards the pattern. For season one, we had a normal Forged in a Turnum on the Monday and then we had an out of sync dev update. Now, I can't remember this one was Tuesday or Wednesday, but it was one of those two dates. And then we had the community Q&A on Monday, the subsequent Monday. Three months later, that pattern was repeated for the May update, which was about season two. We had a normal Forged in Eternum. Then we had a dev update. I think this one again was either Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't remember which. And then we had a community Q&A, which was about season two. They basically give you the information midweek and then they do the Q&A. The next video is a community Q&A. Now, not every community Q&A is a big one. If you look here, the July one was one that a lot of people didn't find that interesting because they didn't really talk about any new stuff. In that video, Scott says the next communication will be about the expansion. Presumably, he means the community Q&A. He didn't actually say that, but we are inferring that. And it would make sense because... And it would make sense because February to May is three months, May to August is three months, seasons are three months. So the pattern sort of implied that we would get an update in the week just gone. However, we didn't get that. Now, why did we not get that? Well, that could all be to do with this. It is currently Gamescom. Well, technically, I think that ends this weekend. But we had the opening night live on Tuesday and then we've had reveals 
uh, since then from a variety of different games. It's very possible that they are just trying to swerve that and it's very possible that we'll actually just get a slightly different sync of information. If they're trying to swerve this maybe they'll just give us the information next week. It's very possible because it's simply an expansion things are being done differently. If the next update was just season 3 and pretty much nothing beyond that then I would have expected the pattern to hold true but because it's an expansion all bets are off. It's very possible that we won't even get a PTR. It's very possible that they're doing something completely different. The pattern doesn't hold when the pattern itself is relying on it being a normal season and then the expansion obviously is changing that. Now what am I personally expecting? I do have a feeling and I know some people are going to be like what are you talking about? I have a feeling that the expansion might be being delayed but we're going to find that out on Monday so I don't want to get people like worked up about that but something just sort of tells me that that might be the case. It's so important to them and we've had so little information that I could very easily believe that. And you know what? I almost think it has to be that because the alternative to me is quite mind-blowing. If the alternative is the game and the expansion is getting released in 37 days, then where on earth is the marketing? Where is the information? That would absolutely blow my mind. I'm not necessarily asking for a cinematic trailer like this. It doesn't have to be something as bold as this, as expensive as this. But if we are 38 days away from it, I would expect a little bit of information. Not anything completely crazy, but a little bit of something, some kind of marketing. A lot of MMOs do their marketing way in advance. Some of them, I mean, just using World of Warcraft for an example, I think they announced their expansion in April and then released it in October and they actually had a trailer to go along with that. Whereas New World, well, if, that, if we're really getting an expansion in 38 days, my mind is absolutely fully blown. I do not understand the marketing that is going on. Now, some of you might say they don't need that marketing. And you know what? I actually partly agree with that. The marketing that they're going to do is primarily going to be around Twitch. They'll pay Gold. They'll try and pay Shroud, although I think Shroud may have said that he's not interested. They'll try and pay these big streamers. They'll try and get them back and they'll get the people back because Brimson stone did bring people back i think the expansion will do the same but that doesn't make that being the right decision i don't think that necessarily then makes full sense i think still they definitely should do a proper marketing campaign and honestly the fact that we've not seen it as much as i think it might imply a delay it's either a delay or my mind is completely broken i'm not really sure what now we'll find that out on monday so i don't want to speculate too much i won't waste too much of your time but you know, my head is a little bit confused. I have no idea where the information is. I have no idea what they're planning. My worry is right now is that no matter what AGS is doing, it's bad news in my eyes. Either the expansion is delayed and they'll ramp up the marketing at an appropriate time, which, I mean, that's probably the better option than releasing like a bad game or what have you. So I'm okay with that. But obviously a delay is not very good because nobody wants delays at the end of the day. Or it's actually on time and this is the way they're doing the marketing with like 40 days left. Whilst they may still have big success like that, my mind does not allow me to think that that is a great way because I've never really seen another company do something like that. I don't necessarily think that AGS have the, you know, the reputation to get away with it, but the fact that they have Twitch in their back pocket sort of means they probably can. But I don't think that makes it right. Honestly, as soon as season two went live, and as soon as those sales should have happened, we could have had a cinematic trailer for season three in the expansion. That for me would have been the dopest realist stuff. There's a third option that because of the next expansion, something weird is happening, something different that I've never seen before, but I would be surprised. For me, it's either a delay or we have some weird marketing strategy that I simply do not understand. But then again, I'm not a marketing expert, so maybe something is happening that I don't appreciate. As I started earlier, do consider if you are already a member on YouTube, do consider becoming a Patreon instead. I will eventually probably close that. The very TDL uh, why I'm doing that change is that one, I have two different channels and I don't really like the idea of having two different Patreons or two different YouTube memberships. I feel like that's a bit weird. And two, I was streaming a lot more on YouTube and I felt like membership made sense then but now I'm streaming a lot more on Twitch and I feel like well if you want to watch me live you can come and do it on Twitch and if you want to support my videos well then you can come and do that on Patreon or if you just want to watch for free that's completely fine consider whitelisting me an ad block if you really want to do that but just watch the video like comment I'm very happy with that I'm not in financial destitution this is a risk that I have chose 
and I'm hoping it will pay off for you guys. I'm streaming a lot more, like I'm streaming six days a week on Twitch, and when the expansion drops, my knowledge of the game will be a lot higher, and whilst I will still make sure that I'm, uh, you know, voicing my concern for the casual player base, I will also be able to investigate topics on a more higher level. You can think more along the lines of like Duke's Loft, Firepad, obviously incredible creators in their own right. I'm not trying to replace them though, obviously I'll do it in my own style. So for now, big shout out to my YouTube members, but I'm probably just going to call this Patreon in a minute. Like I'll fix it so that, that it just says Patreon. And for now, I'll just put both YouTube members and Patreons on here. But ideally, eventually, I'll just move it to Patreon, okay? And of course, there is a link to my Twitch channel in the description below. Thank you for giving me your attention. Thank you for watching. Have a most beautiful day. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.